Hello and welcome to the Bookshelf Odyssey. My name is Art and today I'll be doing the uh, getting to know me tag. And in this tag, I was uh, tagged by Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading and she has a wonderful channel. I'll, I'll make sure to link that below as well as her video for this tag. This tag was originally created by Mesa Booktuber and I will make sure her channel is linked below. So get to know me in 25 questions. I think this would be a great time to do this as I've had quite a few new subscribers since Victober. Uh, so I do want to welcome you and hope that you uh, enjoy uh, the videos I, I'll be putting out here in the in the near future. All right, so question one, what's your channel about? It, well, it's a booktube channel. It's about books. Uh, I have a particular fondness for Victorian literature as well as um, especially Charles Dickens and Elizabeth Gaskell. Uh, I will be also talking about some modern day writers in near modern day, like uh, Ray Bradbury is another favorite. Uh, Louise Penny is a favorite. And though I don't talk too much about them yet, I, I have plans to do some videos about them. Um, and then I'll occasionally do some of the typical booktube videos of, uh, uh, you know, TBRs, wrap ups, things like that. I'm not as consistent on those as I'd like to be, perhaps. Then one unique thing about my channel is I also do a podcast where I interview authors, talk to them about their writing journey and how they went from, you know, a dream of being a writer to actually seeing their book uh, published. And that's been a lot of fun. I usually will have those episodes out once a week, uh, and I'm on season two of that right now, and I'll post a video here on this channel as well as the audio version on my podcast feed which is available on any podcast host. Okay, question two, how old are you? Well, I am 44 years old going on, you know, who knows? <laughs> I'm 44 going on 16. Uh, that's, that's what I feel like some days. What's your relationship status? I'm happily married to a wonderful woman. Uh, she's a, a part-time librarian, so that's exciting. We, uh, we talk about books all the time and we're both big readers. Question four asks, uh, did you go to college and what's your occupation? Um, I did indeed go to college and I, I do have an occupation. Question five, uh, where are you from? Where, uh, where do you live? I am currently living in Iowa. Uh, I've lived in Washington State as well as Illinois, where I was born and raised. I was born in Waukegan, Illinois, which is the hometown of Ray Bradbury, one of my favorite writers. Uh, question six. Looking back, what would you have told your 10-year-old self? Uh, well, I would have told him to not be ashamed of your voice. I, I was very awkward, very shy. I had a, a speech impediment, and l that, I felt, left me uh, limited a lot of what I thought I could do. And since finally getting the courage to go into podcasting, uh, I've, I've had some really wonderful, satisfying moments doing that, that I wish I would have done this sooner, uh, to be honest. So maybe I would have encouraged him to do that. Also, I guess on, on the other hand, I also would have told, given him some good ideas on what to invest his money in. <laughs> uh, I could be rich today. Question seven, tell us about your family. Yeah, I have one. My wife, I have three kids. We have a brand new dog. I have parents, I have siblings, and that's about all I feel comfortable sharing right now. Uh, let's see, what's your favorite holiday? Question eight. Uh, obviously, it's Christmas, okay? Uh, I have a whole Christmas podcast I do year-round, uh, as well as a Christmas uh, YouTube channel in addition to this one. Uh, sometimes when I sit down to do an interview, I have to stop and think a minute which podcast I'm doing it for. Uh, but I host the Cozy Christmas Podcast, and those links will be in the show notes. On that podcast, I like to read stories and interview creative Christmas people. Uh, it, it's just a lot of fun, but definitely Christmas, absolutely. Question nine, you have no budget. What is your dream vacation? Uh, going to England, going to all the literary sites of my heroes, like Dickens Museum and, and the Dickens uh, sites, uh, Elizabeth Gaskell Museum and House in all the historical, like the, the Brontes, the, um, you know, all the Victorian writers I love. I would just do this epic England tour of book related sites. And I, I hope to do it someday. Uh, I got to just wait until I make the big bucks on YouTube, I guess. <laughs> Question 10, name your biggest pet peeves. I don't know. I guess people who are mean, 
I mean, who are, are cruel, who use their power to promote themselves, but not, uh, but at the expense of those who are um, suffering, they, they really, that really gets to me, which is why I can't talk politics. <laughs> what book changed your life? Uh, that's a great question. I would say one that really inspired me was The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury. Just the um, power of his writing. Every book of his I've read has felt like it's changed my life in some way and has really helped me have a love of reading. Question 12, what simple invention improved the world? I would say the printing press, you know, uh, that we can now get copies of books uh, and, and affordable copies. It gets reading literature into the hands of the masses. That's for me, that's the invention that changed the world, that improved the world for the good. 13, uh, favorite movies or TV shows? Oh, good question. I am ri- right now, currently, I am really loving the MCU. All the, the Marvel movies that are coming out, the Marvel TV shows, I've loved every single one, and I am just all in on Marvel right now. Closely followed by what Star Wars has been doing. I've really enjoyed that. Um, that will probably change in a couple years. You know, it seems like every year I go through these stages. Uh, but right now, that's those are my favorites. Describe yourself using three fictional characters. Oh, that's that's fun. Um, I would say Arthur Dent from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, with the uh, at times with the um, sarcasm of Harry Dresden from uh, from Jim Butcher's Harry Dresden series, and then uh, I guess the third one, and this is you know the man I would hope to be is Inspector Gamache from Three Pines. You know, those I feel like are the three personalities fighting in my head right now. Question 15, what was your dream job? You know, honestly, I'm going to just put this out in the universe. I think doing something like this would be a wonderful dream job where I get paid to talk about books, to make video content about books, to podcasting about books and talking to authors and helping promote their work. I mean, the past couple of years of podcasting and, and booktubing this has been the most satisfying, enjoyable, creative endeavor that I've ever done in my life, I think. And it's just been wonderful. And I would love to do this, you know, full time. That would be fantastic. You never know. So, something related in the field of books, though, definitely would be a dream job. Uh, question 16. If magic was real, what spell would you learn first? probably some sort of invisibility uh, spell so I could just hide when I wanted to and either get my work done or get my reading done and not ju- and just not be disturbed or bothered and I could just be left alone. That sounds like the first thing I would do. Question 17, share a favorite childhood memory. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this before either on my podcast or on the channel, but probably visiting my grandma and grandpa in St. Louis and my grandma would always have new books for us. She'd get from garage sales or from her friends who owned a bookstore. Uh, she kept me well supplied with Hardy Boy books. And so, uh, Grandma, thank you for that. Uh, it helped inspire my love to read and my love of mysteries as well. Question 18, what is your favorite social media platform and why? Uh, I would have said Facebook because just because I have more, they get they allow you to to talk more, you know, on the in the comments or you're not limited in characters, uh, and it's also easier to share links, uh, like website links. But uh, right now, YouTube, I think, is probably taking that just because of the people I'm meeting on here through this channel. It's been it's been real fun. Um, so yeah, to YouTube. Question nineteen: If you could pick any book character, who would who would you spend the day with? It might be one of the three I picked about my personality. Oh, oh no, you know what? Ebenezer Scrooge from A Christmas Carol. Either uh, very, uh, you know, probably post redemption uh, than rather than pre redemption, I guess. But he would be a blast, I think, to celebrate Christmas with after he has, uh, you know, honored Christmas in his heart and tries to keep it all the year. I think Scrooge and I would really vibe well celebrating Christmas. So, yeah, that's who who I pick. Who who'd I pick? That's who I would pick. <laughs> Question twenty: What's your spirit animal? I've always wondered like that, like um, a Patronus or somebody like that. Uh, I, you know, I've really, I really love eagles and and bears, but I think right now the um, this might be strange, but uh, a blue heron. There's a few that live at a lake near where I live, and they always just seem like they're somewhat they're at peace. 
They're off out of the way from everybody. They, they're kind of secluded and they just seem like really contemplative animals. And I really connect with that. So I'd say right now, that's kind of an animal I feel connected to. 21, what old person thing do you do? Well, I, I've started kind of bucking technology a little bit and not understanding it, you know, that saying, asking my kids to help me figure something out on the computer. Uh, and it, it's getting to that point. So uh, I, I could see that starting up here. Question 22, do you have a hidden talent? I mean, sort of. I play guitar, not real well but I, I don't really talk about it a lot. So question 23, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, well, I'll be 49. So hazarding a guess, I will probably be a grandpa by then, maybe, or getting pretty close. I would love to be continuing to do you know, podcasting and, and just involved in the promotion of reading and literature, things like that. Uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, so yeah, well, I guess we'll see where we are in five years. It would be fun to come back and watch this again. Question 24, share an item and tell us its significance. Oh, um, well, that's what I get for not reading the questions ahead. Well, I can't think of anything other than maybe my Christmas Carol book collection. I have several editions of, of the Carol. I just, I love that story. It's my favorite story of all time, I think, and read it at least once, if not more every year. Uh, one, always at Christmas time. And then sometimes throughout the year, I'll, I'll pick it up again uh, if I'm in the mood. So uh, my hope is to read the book so much that eventually I just have it memorized. <laughs> and then, oh, that's it. Uh, now tag some people. Well, uh, I, I'm not going to do that. Uh, this one kind of got on long enough, but uh, all right, that'll do it for me. Uh, so hopefully you got to know me a little bit more in this. Until next time, uh, take care and happy reading.